Today I'm going to be talking about seven signs that you are in a relationship. That relationship could either be marriage or, you know, ordinary relationship. But I'm going to be talking about seven signs that you are in a relationship with a wrong person. A lot of us are in this kind of relationships, marriage or whatever it is, and we know that we are in the wrong person, but we just cannot, you know, actually, you know, take the move. But I'm just going to be talking about those signs so that paraventure you are not aware of those signs, you would be aware and you would know that, hmm, this is actually, you know, a sign that I'm actually with someone that is a no, 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 no for me. So if you really want to know these signs, don't go nowhere. guys you're welcome to another beautiful day with me and my name is obinje oh your one and only relationship enthusiast if you just see me for the first time i want to use this opportunity to welcome you to this beautiful family that we have here and of course before you you know even start watching this video i'd want you to you know subscribe to my channel and of course turn on your post notifications so that every time i post a new video you'll be notified at your end and to my returning subscribers thank you before i jump right into the signs that i have outlined that you know is going to let you know that you are in a relationship with the wrong person i want you to know that relationships differ relationship differs in the sense that what is obtainable in your relationship is definitely going to be you know not obtainable in another relationship and of course what what might be a no-no for you might actually be a yes yes for another person in another relationship but in a in a general man of speaking or in a way to say these signs are how do i put it are one of the major signs that you are going to you know feel you're going to be feeling or noticing that you are in a relationship with somebody who you shouldn't be with so mark um, so take my words when i say these things i know that a lot of us live in denial a lot of us don't want to you know accept the truth even when it's kind of you know <laughs> staring us back in the face we don't want to tell ourselves the truth so it's going to be very difficult to accept when i say these things because maybe these signs are there you're you notice them like i said but you want to live in denial or you don't even know because you are ignorant to basically everything that is happening to you but let's go straight to the first sign that you are in a relationship with the wrong person you are going to be feeling a lot 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 lonely <laughs> of course you all know what it is to be lonely when you're when you're you're out of a relationship or you are not married and of course you do not have any significant person that you can call that special person in your life there's this feeling of loneliness you come back from work you don't have somebody to you know talk about the day's activity with you don't have somebody that you're you know romantically involved with so it is understandable when at that point in time you are lonely but just imagine you are in a relationship with somebody and maybe you are even married and you still feel lonely <laughs> that is a red flag that is a red sign that you are with someone that you guys don't have anything going on probably you're some kind of chatterbox and then you're with somebody now don't get me wrong you could be a chatterbox and be with someone who is more on the you know a quiet side but doesn't mean that you are lonely you could have the times when you're with that person and you're going to bring out the, the the extrovert of that person but you don't feel lonely you guys are able to walk your way and you know do things that you know give some kind of joy or fun or whatever it is to your relationship but when you are in a relationship with somebody but you still feel lonely despite all the activities that might be going on in the relationship but there's this unfulfillment that's the word there's this unfulfillment that you you know your your that is just going through you you just can't you know feel fulfilled and that's it when you're in a relationship with somebody marriage or whatever it is there's supposed to be some form of fulfillment there's a there's supposed to be some form of you know always wanting and wanting and longing for more but when that adrenaline is not pumping <laughs> when the butterflies in your tummy do not rumble when everything around that person or about that person is on a dull 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 moment then you know that this is a wrong 
wrong, wrong step that you have taken. You've gone and, you know, <laughs> probably met somebody who makes you feel lonely. And you see, the funny part of the thing is that this person could actually be doing or trying their best to make you, you know, feel good. But there's no spark in the relationship. There's no spark. You probably would have gone for counseling or any of those stuff, but you still feel feel lonely it's not that this person might be bad or in some cases the person might not just be you know good but let's look at it from the point of view that this person isn't even such a bad person but you still just don't feel you know compatible with this person even after marriage that's a sign that you know you've gotten into a relationship with someone who is a no 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 for you the feeling of unfulfillment, the feeling of, you know, loneliness. Another feeling that you're going to be, you know, going through be that you can't talk freely with this person. Yes. Not being able to communicate, <laughs> not being able to communicate freely with your partner is a sign that you are in a relationship with the wrong person. Take it from me. Relationship between two people. What one of the things that do keep you know this kind of relationship going on is communication. So in a situation whereby you cannot communicate freely with your partner is a sign that you are in a relationship with the wrong person. Yes. Don't get me wrong, because I know some of you are going to be saying that, oh, I'm an introvert and she's an extrovert. She's an introvert, I'm an extrovert. I'm not talking about any of that. Despite the fact that you're dating someone who is an introvert, doesn't mean that you cannot communicate freely with this person. It doesn't mean that you cannot talk about anything and everything. Now, let me give you an example. I am more of an extrovert in my relationship. I am married to someone who is an introvert. But it doesn't stop the fact that I'm able to, you know, talk about everything and anything within. You get it? Um, the, the, the very essence of all of this is that you are free to talk about anything and everything with that, with that person. Nobody is going to make you feel like, is this the right conversation I'm supposed to be having with this person? How is this person going to, you know, take this really? You know, you, you understand what I'm talking about. Some of us cannot, you know, freely communicate with our partners because they are going to, you know, look us down as in, I don't even know how I'm going to explain it, but you're not just free to, you know, have these communications with that person. Another thing that you're going to, you know, another sign that you're going to, you know, be going through that you know that you are in the relation in a relationship or in a marriage with uh, with, a, with a wrong person, especially for those of us who are married, you dread going home. <laughs> your home is your safe heaven. You see, if you're married, let's go back time in the past when you were, you know anticipating when you were going to get married with this person. You wanted to build a family with that person. You wanted to, you know, build a home with that person. Then all of this has come to, you know, reality. Now, that reality, you can't face it. That home that you longed to have with that person, you are running away from that home because it is not a place of comfort. You do not derive that joy that you once thought you were going to derive when you get married to that person. And like I said, a lot of people are actually sitting on this table of not wanting to go home. Because I just can't imagine why you will be married and seven days a week, when you're supposed to be spending quality time with your wife or your husband, you'd rather want to spend the, the, the greater part of the day with friends outside. It's, it's, it's a clear indication that there's actually something that is, you know, chasing you out of your home and like i said a lot of people are going to live in denial and not accept the fact that you know this these signs are signs that they are married to the wrong person because they don't want to accept it they don't want to you know term themselves as failures so they just say they, there's always an excuse to everything and a lot of people are going to give this excuse of can i not just have time to hang out with my friends sure you can have time to hang out with your friends and it is you know clearly different from the fact that you dread going home every day after the close of work you you give an excuse of going home because you dread going home you dread going home to that maybe that nag that you have as a husband or as a wife there are many there are many reasons why you dread going home but the bottom fact is that these are signs that you are in a relationship with the wrong person <laughs> unfortunately these are you know 
things that are really, really happening in the society. Another sign is that you are always on the edge. You are always on the edge. I'd like to term that kind of person like a viparous person. Viparous. You are always on the edge. At the slightest provocation, you are you burst out. You burst out. You're always angry. Every slight move makes you angry. Every slight, you know, the slightest action from that person gets you angry. It, you know, it pushes you to the wall. There's no, look, when we are in relationships, yes, there are times, you know, we are not, you know, having it cool with our partners. But doesn't necessarily mean that it's round and round the clock. But when you're, you know, acting like this every minute round the clock, you're always edgy, you're always angry, you're always, you know, at the worst of your temper. It's a clear indication that with your partner, things are not working well with both of you. And definitely and obviously you are with the wrong person because if you're with the right one the right one <laughs> brings out your third six you get what i'm saying the right one makes you smile the right one makes you always you know happy the right one you know like i talked about the adrenaline makes your adrenaline pumping but when you're always at the edge it's a clear indication that <laughs> you're with someone who is the no, 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 no. Another sign is that you cannot call out your partner when they tell a lie. Yeah, because you are afraid to speak out. Probably in that relationship, there's some kind of form of abuse or whatsoever. So you are more or less withdrawn. You are, you know, always afraid to speak up, even when you know that your partner is saying something that is not right even when you know that your partner is telling a lie you cannot speak how can you be in a relationship with someone and you cannot call them out when they tell a lie how can you be in a relationship with somebody that you are not free enough to tell them that your your feelings might have been hurt or you know you probably didn't like what it is that they had done you cannot speak because you are afraid your relationship is not a master and servant relationship. It's not a, a tyrant kind of relationship. But if you're in a relationship where you are free to speak up or you are free to call out every lie of your partner, it's because you are in a relationship with someone who is wrong, someone who doesn't bring out the best of you, someone who cannot allow you to be who and you know whatever it is you are. That person just can't make you express yourself freely. And trust me. As long as you're in that relationship with that person, you are never, ever, ever going to come out of that shell of yours. You get what I'm saying? Another thing that is going to be more, more, more terrible is that you are in a relationship with somebody and you begin to fantasize or dream about somebody out there. Your partner is supposed to, you know, fulfill your every desire, your every sexual desire, your every romantic desire, but you're in a relationship with the wrong person. So your mind is outside drifting. Whatever fantasies you have in your mind, they are not fantasies of your partner. You are fantasizing about some lady out there. You are fantasizing about another woman out there. You are fantasizing about another man out there. And trust me, it's a clear indication that you do not enjoy what it is you have with that person there. And it means, and it automatically means that you are in a relationship, you are in a marriage with the wrong person. When I say wrong person, don't get me wrong, I don't mean that this person is a badass. What I'm just trying to say is that this person is not the one for you. So when you start to fantasize about somebody awful, <clears throat> Once in a while, we, we, we fantasize, we imagine. But when these thoughts become too, too often, these thoughts begin to, you know, be cloud your sense of reasoning. Then it's time for you to know that you are in a relationship with someone who you shouldn't be with. Now, the last sign that you are in a relationship with the wrong person is that you feel that you've been on the, you have been, uh, you are not valued, valued, you are not respected, your, 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 your partner doesn't place you on the level that you should feel and of course if you feel not valued if you feel not respected in your relationship you have a reason 
to feel that way. You know how you want to be treated in a relationship. You know this is how you want your partner to treat you in your relationship. So if you feel short of that, then it is your right to know that I'm in a relationship with somebody who is a no-no for me. I'm not going to sit down here and tell anybody that. Take any shit. Take any, you know, anything from a relationship when you know that this is not what you want. And that's why we've been speaking out from time past that women, men, know your worth. Do not have to, you know, take what you do not want from somebody simply because you want to be in the relationship with them. No. You are going to be in that relationship with a person feeling undervalued, feeling not respected, and you cannot walk away because you are afraid that if you leave that person, you are not going to get somebody out there. You never know. You never know what's going to be waiting for you outside. You never know where love is going to find you. So take that step and recognize these signs and who knows what's going to come out for you. So this is where I end the, the, today's topic on signs that you are in a relationship with the wrong person. And like I said, that relationship could either be dating or marriage. Do not, especially for those of us who are not married, it's good you recognize this sign so that you don't take a step further into marriage and begin to regret. Like they always say, and I'm also going to lend my voice out to that, a broken relationship is better than a broken marriage. You're going to save yourself some kind of, you know, headache from, you know, venturing into a marriage that would last maybe one, two, three, four, six months, five years, whatever years, and then you come out and only regret. But it's better you know now. And I hope you did enjoy today's video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to comment on this video share this video around and if you know you're not subscribed to my channel before this video runs out subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notification and trust me i'll be back again with some beautiful topics on love life and marriage till then bye